that OBS? Ah, uh, is what? Is that OBS? OBS Studio? Hell yeah. You already baby. know, baby. What's up, y'all? We're back. Yeah. Another episode of Sick Days. And this time I have Garrett. What's your last name, Garrett? Vincent. Garrett Vincent. He's yeah. a homie. Yeah. He's been a homie yeah. for like five years at this point. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I met you through skateboarding. And maybe Dylan. And maybe Dylan. Shouts out you, Dylan. Yeah, he made the intro. Maybe, maybe Dylan. He made the intro for the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like a little hip hop guitar thing. Oh, cool. But yeah. I didn't know he was making yeah. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he's doing whatever he does all day. That's he's cool. he's always doing something different, I think. Yeah. Um, this is Sick Days. Oh, yeah. We got JoJo for the OGs. JoJo's in here. Garrett's been like a long time supporter since like the day we met, I'm pretty sure. Dude. Yeah. Love all the stuff. Yeah, he's been pretty hype and. Tried to, you know, help out where I could. Maybe a little... Dude, little, he, you would shout me out all the time. A little skate competition. Yeah, uh, you would support me uh, in those. You guys are like... Microphone guy every once in a while. Yeah, you would use that megaphone. Yeah. They would, you guys, you... And you and who did Lost Articles? Carlos. Carlos? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. 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 So it was just you two originally? Yeah, we just did that. And then uh, we were like doing it. And then we both like started doing other stuff. I moved. Which yeah. was a big part of it because I had to go do an internship to get my degree. Mm -hmm. So I was at ski resort for like the winter and then we just kind of like stopped. We actually recently talked about like doing it again, mm -hmm. but now I'm going to have a baby. Yeah, that's going to be difficult. So. Yeah. Yeah, trust me. You know. It was hard when I had Aurora. Like yeah. the fact that I made it far enough to have a skate shop while having a kid. Like, I don't know if I could do that again in a different lifetime but yeah, i think i got kind of lucky but it does get busy i actually um i still need to announce on the lbs page that i'm gonna stop doing lbs stuff for a good while yeah yeah and just do this just do this yeah until i can okay. legitimately put the the effort that i want to put in yeah for doing the lbs because i'm not able to put the same amount of energy i did before I had the shop and I kind of had like the team on the back burner the whole time. And like, it's just been really difficult to coordinate things to go film. And it's just, I need more money to put into it to have it grow. I mean, you're running, you're running a skate team slash distribution. Yeah. So it right? was like, so I'm part of a distribution and yeah. so they make our gear, but even then trying to get everyone together to skate and to put out a project is getting really difficult for me. And yeah, so like, man. To, so hard. And I can't like even pay out of pocket to give them product, which yeah. is like what a sponsor does. And I ha don't have that money to do. Well, no. And there's no money in skateboarding. There's zero anyway. money. There's <laughs> so zero money like, in skateboarding. What do you do? Um, I found that like with snowboarding, the only money there is to be made is through like clothing. Yeah. That's how it is with skateboarding. And like, yeah. I just, I kind of also got like tired of trying to sell something to someone yeah like i want to be able to make things without having to worry to sell it understand if that completely. makes sense no, like, 100%, yeah. <laughs> if i could just make skateboards and be like does anyone want one yeah you go, yeah take just it. give stuff away yeah for real yeah that's that what, would that's that kind of the the, what i've been doing i've just been kind of like making not really making clothes but yeah. like um kind of like customizing pre-existing clothes oh is that why you asked so for like the shirts putting some yeah yeah yes. okay that putting makes sense patches like have you seen the that stupid those stupid little instagram videos where they like cut the waves in the shirt to like make it look like the drips and then they like have it. take another shirt and put it on there and then take the bottom and sew it all together so it's like three shirts I haven't they'll take seen like that. a rug and do it. I have not seen really? that. Really? Okay, no. I'll have to find yeah, some send me something. Like that. that sounds like, pretty cool. I really like that. So I think that's what I might do with the the excess merch. Yeah. And just kind of like repurpose all of it. Yeah, maybe give it to homies or I don't know. I'll check and see what Carlos wants to do. Dude, yeah, that'd be hype. Here, I'm gonna run to the bathroom really fast. Do it. And you sales pitch everything you want to sales pitch. Okay. While I do this thing real quick. Sick. Well, I don't have anything to sales pitch, but what I can say is that, you know, snowboarding is really fun. 
I think skateboarding was fun for me at a time. I think you should just always do what you want to do. Oh, thank God you're back. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> Sorry, there's like a little whirring noise, and I don't think it's going to pop up on here because these mics are pretty decent at like filtering throwing. out. So. Yeah, they're really good at doing that. But I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the lights because I would have been so pissed. Oh, if, oh, if it's but, these lights? Yeah. You know what that sounds like? sounds like your It's my fridge. Your fridge. It's yeah. my fridge. Okay, and cool. like, yeah. that's one of the other reasons why I like to go to the people's places to record episodes oh, yeah. because like, this is the only spot and I got a fucking fridge that goes... Well, okay, next time we can go to my house <laughs> and then we can either go in the basement or we can Dude, go the basement would be sick. Uh, outside. Dude, outside's even better. Possible. Outside it sounds even nicer because there's like background noise, but it's yeah. like entertaining background noise. There's like birds chirping and people playing. In inside, it's just like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So next time we'll go to my house, we can sit outside. I'm trying to like re-landscape my yard right now, so oh, yeah. hopefully, yes, um, I'll be the have move, dude. some, you know, some outdoor seating. Or yeah, something. there we go. Sick. The the ideal thing is to like I saw these tables at Walmart. They're like the small tables like this. They're foldable mm -hmm. and their legs are adjustable. Oh yeah. yeah I want to yeah. get one of those. Totally. Just like two lawn chairs and then two mic stands. Not like these, but like the ones that you. What if you just got swivel? like a TV dinner table? I want to, but like I want to have enough for two people. True. Yeah. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd have like the little table, the two lawn chairs, and the mic stands, not like the mic arms. Yeah. yeah that yeah. way I don't have to worry about placing these anywhere. Like that's been an gotcha. issue. If I could do this over again, I would have bought two mic stands yeah, with the adjustable the arm arms. instead of the arms. My fucking dumbass dude like i buy <laughs> shit like that bro. so quick so far the only legitimate purchase that i made that was good was the the pod track dude that thing's sick it's fun it like i use that to go record in random places because it only run, it runs on batteries oh dope and it still provides like the phantom power for like specific microphones and it records in really high quality and if i really wanted to i could have four people connected to it all of us just running around near That's each sick. other and just like talking shit i want to bring this with me to like a Chico beer festival. Ooh. Yeah, I found this. Um, and do like what interviews or? Yeah, I just talk yeah. to drunk people. I see think what they be saying. I think when that drunk. would be super fun. I, I think, think it'd be really fun. I want to go to the Chico bars and do it because I'm pretty sure some people would say some really dumb things. Dude, would, like, oh my god, probably go viral or something. I can. Anytime I go out, I hear the most, like the dumbest shit. <laughs> just get the them world. all canceled. And I don't canceled. go out that often, so yeah. I know they're saying dumb shit every day of the <laughs> every week. Every single day, dude. Like it can't just be when I'm out, you yeah. know? <laughs> it's yeah. Like the two days out of the year. Yeah, no, dude. They're always doing dumb things, and so that thing would be pretty fun to have. There is this travel backpack or a camel pack, right? The ones with the oh yeah yeah yeah. Thing. I saw at a sportsman's warehouse, and it has this little side pockets on both sides, and then it has these little like straps Ooh. to tie whatever you have to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's for bottles or for whatever, but Ooh. I was like, dude, I could put the mic arms right there, strap them, have one mic arm over here. It's like that. And then the other mic arm to the right of me or something. So I can have talk yeah. to someone and just have a friend follow me with the camera. Dude, and put like a solar battery in the backpack. Be, well, this thing runs on batteries. Oh shit. So I don't even, and you don't even the, need to. You're good. yeah. And the battery life lasts for like six or seven hours. Oh, yeah, if you're podcasting for that long, you're, yeah, I'm just, you're fucking up. He's out there sweating and drinking. Yeah, you're like, you're <laughs> like, I uh, hour, hour 87. Yeah, <laughs> I have not it's just slept. you. Do you remember the guy who started Twitch? Uh, no. So the guy who started Twitch was this, like one of the first like popular live streamers. Mm -hmm. And he live streamed for, like I'm pretty sure, like a week straight. Damn. Or something like that. Actually, well, I know like some of them have done like stream all day. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up right now actually because I've been spewing out so much misinformation since <laughs> I started doing this podcast. Who cares? Like, there's one that I started to talk about the Great Khali and how he has gigantism. Yeah, he doesn't have gigantism. He has a, a rare form that's kind of like gigantism. Is close. It, it was close. His uh, apparently his adrenal gland, not adrenal making conspiracy theory shit his uh <laughs> <laughs> oh what is it the penile gland yeah the one that gives off testosterone yeah he has a tumor in it which caused it to produce more than more testosterone than he actually needed and that's why he's huge that's kind of badass yeah yeah i found out that the more i work out and the more testosterone i gain the faster i lose my hair what so for you yeah like specifically or well, is that like everyone in general so i okay this also might be misinformation. Yeah, but, yeah. Lay it <laughs> um, on me. So the hormone that 
like causes hair loss. Uh huh. Like the 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 mutation yeah. in your gene that causes hair loss um, correlates with your testosterone production. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure the more testosterone I'm putting out, the faster my hair will recede. That explains Johnny's sins. Yep. He's bald. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Think that, of every super jacked man. That's no completely, hair. completely bald. That makes total sense. Except for maybe, yeah. the, um, what's his name? Those are good. Sam. Who? Sam Solik. Sam. Sam. Sol- Sam Solik? Solik. Yeah, Solik. dude. Yeah. Oh, what's your opinion he's on Sam hair, Solik? Dude. He has a guy. whole long hair. Dude, I'm. Dude, he's, he's sick. He's jacked as fuck. Yeah, he's fucking super cool. <laughs> he's, he's racked up, bro. I'll, I like anybody who's like, yeah, dude, I take steroids all the time and I'm fucking ripped and yeah. I'll take more. Do you take steroids? No, I wish. Yeah. I'd be huge. <laughs> but if I took steroids, I'd lose my hair like that, yeah. dude. Yeah. I'm like waiting. I'm like it's waiting true. for just like one bad day when the wind blows wrong and all my hair falls off. <laughs> he's an anomaly, huh? Dude, he's, he's I don't know. He's, he's pretty great, jacked. dude. Well, I like his hat. It's a Cowboy Bebop hat. That's it. And no one's commented on it. <laughs> no one's like, is that a Cowboy Bebop hat? Which is funny because I feel like those two worlds kind of coincide. Well, yeah, because like Workout culture and anime. Dude, yeah, I go to the big, gym and I uh, see hella people with anime stuff. Yeah, he's a big he's a big Naruto fan. Sick. Everybody is. Yeah. And so I'm just great. like, how do you not, how do people not notice a Cowboy Bebop hat? Like, that's a, it's wild to me. I saw a kid yesterday at the gym that had mm-hmm. like a full, like, Vegeta like <laughs> sweatsuit. That's like, how it was sick. Funny. <laughs> it was so sick. And then I like went up behind him and I was like, "Yo, and I, I really like that. It's cool." And he didn't. He uh, starts going. Ah! And no, he like had his headphones in. I didn't realize he like didn't hear me at all. So oh, I was just like the him. weird guy like right behind him going, "Wow, that's really that's really cool. <laughs> you look really fucking cool, <laughs> oh, man. Wow, dude, you look really fucking cool." <laughs> yeah, I like the meme where it's like uh, me going to the gym. What I expect, and it's like a bunch of girls complimenting what I really get. <laughs> it's all the dudes are like, "You looking jack, bro? Dude, you look sick." <laughs> <laughs> that, that gets me every time. Dude, the gym is so weird. Like I when I first started going, I felt so uncomfortable i bet and me like, too i felt like everybody was like staring at me yeah and then like a month in i was like wait a second nobody nobody cares. here gives a fuck at all <laughs> yeah the only time and they like, care i think is like maybe there's that one dude who's looking at your form and wants to help you yeah and that's my worst nightmare your you lack I, of form i hate those people i okay. don't like when people talk to me at the gym at all really it makes me so uncomfortable. you don't want to interact in any way no, whatsoever nobody dude i'm the type of dude when i did go i'd go to the like most jacked dude i'm like so like what workout do i do for my calves because your calves look fucking huge yeah i would ask them those questions well and they, i bet and they, they gave me their routine i bet they would be like no. kind of hyped they you know they are like, each time oh, i did it they're like oh dude all you got to do is these yeah, bro, i got you yeah like they call these girl workouts but honestly if you want to get the real games you got to get over that dude yeah and then you look at all the girls and they're fucking jacked yeah they're like, like all right they're fucking huge legs yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so what's your opinion on muscle mommies dude i mean they're cool yeah do you see yeah. them at the gym you go to no just like have you seen a jacked lady yet? oh yeah. yeah i mean i've seen jacked ladies for sure but i think it's like i talked about this with my friend maddie who goes to the gym a lot uh-huh. and um like she does like two or three leg days a week damn i'm lucky if i get one because <laughs> i hate legs you know mm-hmm. and i snowboard yeah snowboard I, when yeah. the season's happening i snowboard all day once long. a week at least mm-hmm. so i'm getting my leg day but i know it's not the same I nah know. dude i hate leg days. So now much. i'm trying to get back into it and i'm starting to finally kind of hit that point where i like it yeah but i also have a torn meniscus mm-hmm. so i can't deep squat and i'm using i'm really playing that up <laughs> you know i'm really <laughs> you, using you gotta that. use it till they're like hey I'm dude you really gotta... using that to well, not you already squat. have like thicker legs yeah which is pretty nice i yeah. have complete fucking chicken legs it's hard for and they won't grow it's hard for guys that dude i start hate it. small i have the weakest weakest leg genetics like that i've sucks. ever seen I'm and really sorry to hear even that. when i get to a higher point of like squatting or when i did i don't i haven't worked out in so long yeah. i'm a fucking green bean linguine now <laughs> but like even when i got pretty high up my body mass wouldn't like puff up can you jump i can high? Jump. i don't know I haven't jumped high in a while. Okay. After, I haven't, my after brother this, can, let's but both he's taller. jump and see who, and I just like, <laughs> see who can jump high. Because I feel like I can't jump very I can high. jump over things. See, I can't really jump I've over I've been things. pretty good at jumping over stuff. I can climb over things pretty quick, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what that has to do I with climb, my legs. I can climb trees real yeah. good. Yeah. 
That's about it. Yeah, me like and Dylan monkey. used to climb trees at the park in, in Orlando. Seventh grade or high school. Oh, nice. Yeah, we were Sick. those kids. Yeah, I can see that. I was telling my friend, I was like, I was one event like away from becoming that kid in school yeah. who does like don't you mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know those kids? Yeah, the like anime kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like one inch away from that, dude. <laughs> like You're two uh, seconds away from being put in your place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the devil till you meet me. Dude, I work with those kids. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about jobs. So what, what, yeah. do you, what do you do? I am a peer support specialist is like my official title, I think. I always botch it. Sorry, boss. Sometimes my coworkers watch these. Hell yeah. Uh, they said they wouldn't, but I said, go for it. I don't care. You can listen to what I say. Cock and ball torture. Nice. There you go. I'm losing yeah. my job. But Eat shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, so I think we're peer support specialist or program specialist is what it's called. But it is an entry level position that I do. We support college students with disabilities. Cool. Our program, um, it's a limited program. We only have like a certain amount of people that can be in it. Like spots. Yeah, we have yeah. a certain amount of spots. How are the, How are those people picked? Um, they interview them. Okay. They have to, they put up an interview and they're like, tell them what the program's all about. And they're like, is this something you were interested in? Cause this is what we do. And this is what's expected of and, you in the program. And it's support through the college process. Is it more like academic support or is it more like social support? It's like, or both. I, I would say it's both. We don't do their homework. We don't oh, yeah. tutor, yeah, yeah, because yeah. obviously we don't know every single subject. I don't need a degree to be in this job, so like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna. Did know you physics. need any requirement or anything? Not no. really, but Safe. they liked my resume. Perfect. Because I worked at a youth center and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, I bet you're making the big bucks, huh? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. There's so much money in uh, <laughs> unless you education like, and special uh, ed. dude, unless you're like clerical or yeah, like dude, upper, no, you're yeah. not making shit. You got to be HR to be making money. Nothing, yeah, yeah, uh, dude. What do you do? <sighs> okay, so I'm a special ed teacher. Hell yeah! School. Hell yeah! I'm a sub. Hell yeah! But I've been long term subbing, mm -hmm. and I've been with these kids for like five weeks. I know that doesn't That's sound hard. like a lot, but. Fuck, it sure feels like it. I imagine you know? it's not too easy working with special needs students like all the time. It sounds tasking. You need to be like a special kind of energized human. Yeah. My kids are mild mod. Mm -hmm. So like I have like a couple mod kids who like my mo mo like mild to mod moderate. Oh, sorry, moderate. Okay. Moderate you, disability. Like, they had modifications. Yeah. No. <laughs> <They're>, uh, <laughs> like so I got some cyborgs. You know, <laughs> yeah. some, uh, some people with really strong legs. Um, <laughs> no, so I, like mild to moderate disabilities is like. See, I'm also probably going to spread misinformation, but yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure yeah. it's like emotional issues. Like mm -hmm. home life is probably bad, and then that correlates with like. Uh, you know, like I have kids that like have dyslexia, and I have some yeah. kids on the autism spectrum, yeah, and like um, ADD and mm -hmm. some bipolar kids and stuff like that. Okay, um, so is do you work with anyone with like Down syndrome or anything like no, that? No, that's more like mod severe usually. Okay, so there's like tiers to it. Yeah, so there's like there's mild mod mm -hmm. resource, which is what I do. So mm -hmm. I'm like I'm a resource teacher, mm -hmm. and then there's um, mod severe, and then there's ESN, mm. which is no, there's mod severe is ESN. I don't know what ESN stands for. So there's like mild to moderate to severe, essentially. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. but there's obviously it's probably more detailed. Mild, than that. mod, severe. Okay, and basically. obviously it's a lot more in depth and complicated. And, probably, I and don't people know. go through processes to figure out what you have. Yeah, I assume. Like, well, there's tests. Yeah. yeah, like if I was. If I wasn't just a sub, mm -hmm. I would be testing kids and know how to test them. Yeah. But like, since I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of like a, I'm like, uh, I'm like doing the, the teaching and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't have to do any of the paperwork, oh. which is like super cool for me. So what do you guys do for teaching? So I do an English class okay. and an academic support class. So, so I teach. I teach two English classes, mm -hmm. sixth grade and seventh grade, and then I have two resource classes. And the English classes are modified mm -hmm. for students that have a harder time. So, like, no one's failing my class. Okay, like that's no one, bad. no one fails my class. Yeah, that's nice. We do an assignment, and then I do the assignment with them. Basically, Hell yeah. I let them struggle for like twenty 
30 minutes mm -hmm. and then the last 10 minutes i like do like, it. like all right guys let's figure this out and a lot of it's like fun i try to make like fun stuff and a lot of it's given to me from another teacher too so mm -hmm. that's also helpful like i literally don't have to do a lot of crap oh, yeah. or that's nice it's super cool that sounds um, dope my kids are really really funny and every day they test me you Dude. know like they just wednesdays are horrible why they're late start wednesdays so all the kids go to dutch bros uh -huh. and they'll get like 64 ounce rebels oh no and dutch does it dude again. you go into that class and you're like what the fuck happened you that's guys? how like, funny you guys are fucking <laughs> awful right oh now. no like, what is happening so wednesdays i literally like do half of the work that yeah. we normally do yeah this is way too much because they just can't they just can't do can't it can't focus like the level of like kids that I have too is all varied. Mm -hmm. So like each kid's kind of different. Like I don't know like where they really are, because I'm not allowed to look at a lot of their stuff. Yeah, it's all confidential. Yeah, you know, um, so I can get it like a glimpse, but I can't really like go into their full history. Yeah, you know, and see yeah. what's really going on. And a lot of them just come from hard families. I, honestly, that's what I usually see happening. That's how the youth center was when I worked in Orlando. Um, a lot of them came from like pretty harsh family backgrounds mm -hmm. and that developed a lot of their mental health issues yeah. on top of whatever they already had but yeah i can see that being a big part that's my job is a little way different we we i guess we kind of work like one-on-one -on -one with each person nice so yeah so, you're like a one-on-one -on -one aid for them and more or less so it's confusing for me with adults because like yeah. i don't i don't so, deal with any adults with special needs besides like parents so we support them yeah. And that be that means like they have goals going into our program, whether it's like I want to learn how to manage my money or I want to learn how to um, home living skills. Or I want to learn to do my homework better. Dude, or find you resources. taking new new clients? Fuck, I need to get in there. The bro. waiting list is big. Uh, I need to be a <laughs> dude, part of the, that. I the, need yeah. some help, dude. <laughs> the biggest, the Shit. coolest part about this is like going into it, like they sometimes they learn how to fix those things or how to get used to those things quicker than like just standard adults that oh, I've met in college. Uh, yeah, like, for some, sure. like one of my favorite ones um, was a client that uh, he wanted to start working out. Mm -hmm. And so I started taking him to the gym. He went to the gym with someone else prior, but like um, I started taking him to the gym and uh, when he would do his workouts, he just wanted to get big. Right. Hell yeah. And so he would just grab the heaviest weights Sick. and just start going at it. And, but it would be like, yeah, like that, yeah. which is like, I was like, I set him down. All I was like, wacky dude, it's like, you do not want to go for the biggest weight starting off. It's like, why not? I want to be a bad motherfucker. Hell <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to be a badass, Carlos. Same, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so I was talking like, okay, see all the really big dudes? They follow technique. Yeah. And it's going to take a little while, but your gains will be much better if you follow technique. So I went with, through with him on every workout that he had. It was like the standard ones, like dumbbell yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. And um, I showed him the form that was good, like with really light weight. Mm -hmm. That's like, I know I'm not jacked, I know I'm not fucking shredded, but I do understand the idea of using technique in what you do. Oh, yeah. And so I showed him how to do those, and from then on, every time we worked out, flawless form. Sick. Like, he took it to heart, like, and it helped his behaviors at the same time, because oh, he would just dude. focus on his workouts, yeah. he, would, he would talk during his workouts, just get everything out of his head, nice. and he'd be like, overall, just a calmer person to be That's around, because so he's such a high-energy person, yeah. that people, like... Like they get pushed away a bit and uh, that helped them out a lot. And so I'm just like, sometimes they can absorb that information way faster than other people can. No, oh, hundred yeah. percent, dude. And like, I don't know. I hate general ed kids. Like yeah. <laughs> if you're not <laughs> in my class, I Fucking don't, normie. I don't affiliate with you at all. Yeah. And I will not help you. Either. Really? <laughs> I'll see you in a, in a struggle and, it's like you You're got fine. this. Like you got this, bro. You got it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's weird. We do stuff like that where we support them on their goals, and then we also kind of do what they want to do. Like we can't tell them what to do. Yeah. Like I have students that don't do their homework, and at the end of the semester they're stressing out, and like we told you to natural do natural consequence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we um, dignity of risk is what we call it. We yeah. let them figure it out, and so sometimes we do really fun stuff. Sometimes we do nothing. Like I I go hiking like every. Monday, Wednesday, because that's what the student likes to do. Today, it was hard. Yeah. But I had to play Star Wars Battlefront for like two hours. Oh, straight. my God. 
<laughs> you tortured soul. <laughs> it, it was the new one, a, too. Oh. He got the new one, and, and wow. uh, it was like, we're playing Star Wars Battle. So for. hard. I know tomorrow I'm going to bring my Switch, and we're all going to play Smash. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, man, this job. <laughs> it's rough. So bro. taxing. Dude, you know how hard it was? He was, obviously, he was a screen watcher, and I was like, dude, you're screen watching me right now, because he'd know exactly where I was each time Dang, I spawned. And that I was like, stinker, dude. Yeah, and I was like, dude, you're screen watching. He's like, nah, I just know the map really good. I'm like, Bullshit. Oh. Yeah. I was like, whatever, man. And he kept using um the game is broken like star wars battlefront's broken oh yeah i heard it's really and broken. they didn't do anything to fix any of the stuff yeah. with the remaster or whatever or the yeah. re-release and like he's just like one of the droidicas that rolling one with a shield bastard hit that thing and that thing just has its shield on forever yeah it oh, doesn't yeah. go away it's broken so he yeah, just sick. goes shoots all my people then comes shoots me and goes spawn camps me and like Damn. just he just messes me up what and so fucker. i did that for like two hours straight of just losing and you're like, you, yeah, dude, this is super fun. Thank you. <laughs> I told him, like, I, I left the control right there at one point. He's like, come on, play. I'm like, dude, I'm going to lose. Like, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> it's like, come on, just pick up the it's control. It's not fun for me. <laughs> That's like, this isn't fun, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm having a bad time, bro. <laughs> yeah. This same student, he would like. Um, and have, that's a social thing you can teach them, too. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, if I'm getting fucked on and you're cheating yeah, yeah. i don't want to play yeah so there's you a know? Sc- and <laughs> like, that's one of the things too like i would not get in trouble for doing that it was like no. teaching him to like hey you can't just do what you want to do all day yeah. you got to cooperate with people you got to learn that social skill and that's something he has an issue with yeah it's really hard for him to like do teamwork with others 100%. he always like sometimes we'll do we'll call them joint ils forms and it's yeah. like where where another coworker is with their student and, and the student that together I yeah and yeah. we do something together but um yeah, he's a really funny guy though. He's yeah. he's hilarious. I used to have a kid that would cheat in cards. Yeah, and it was unfortunate because every day me and him would play cards. <laughs> so you just go and I'm like, lose. dude, I know you have an ace in there, you little fucker. Yeah, like, I know <laughs> you're gonna pull out an ace in the last minute. Like so this funny. isn't cool. And then he, he um, wasn't very verbal mm-hmm. at the time, so like a lot of people would be like, oh, he doesn't know. Hmm. And I would talk to him. He did know. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, you know you're cheating, right? And he'd be like, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's like, not, yeah, you stink, dude. A, <laughs> another crazy thing that people don't really realize is that, like, just treat them like adults. Dude, dude. yeah. Like, yeah, for them, like, for sure. It's like, uh, if you just treat them, like, normally, mm-hmm. um, it's usually a lot better. Yeah, there's I've obvious that, things. that, like, you have to, like, kind of let a lot of stuff go. Mm-hmm. Like, especially if you're not comfortable with yourself too yeah it's like i like my first day taking over this new job i was like talking to this kid and i was like helping him out with his homework and it was like some math thing that i didn't know yeah and he's like hey can you help me out with this and i'm like sure i look at him like oh, dude ah oh, man i don't know i think it's that one and he goes you don't know and i'm <laughs> they like call you out dude no bro i'm not a computer and he goes you're the teacher <laughs> and i was like you don't know either. Come on. <laughs> or like, I had a kid I went up to to help him, and he's just like, uh, you know your brow- your breath smells like really bad, right? And I was like, no, I didn't. Thanks for letting me know, bro. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, man, like really bad. And oh, I was my like, God. All right, shit. Damn, Jesus. They're, they're, they're really like, close. sorry, I just drank coffee. Yeah. And he's like, you shouldn't. I'm like, fuck, okay. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need it, bro. bad. <laughs> or like, I had a girl tell this other kid that, his hairline makes him look like Megamind. No, oh, you know with the Megamind dude, that's rose. Good, bro. That's good. That's <laughs> too good. That's so funny. Yeah, the students that I work with, they they'll remember every little mistake I make. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They'll let they'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll remind me like a month. They'll later. bring it up. Yeah. yeah. They'll I'm bring like, it up I'm again. Like, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think like my help be- yourself. My best uh, description of like my kids is uh, yesterday I was riding my bike. Yeah. Right around Chico. And I see some some dirt jumps being built by some kids. And I'm like, okay, cool. That looks sick. I bet one of my kids is over there just because, I don't know. I just had a feeling. Sounds fe- like he's a I just had a feeling, dude. Yeah. I just had a feeling. And it was like on the side of town as a school. So I was like, they all live in the yeah. area, you know? And so I go over there and he comes up and he's like, oh, Mr. Vincent, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just riding my bike. And he goes, you remember me? And I was like, okay. um, yeah, yeah, from dude. four hours ago? Yeah, bro, I remember you. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, I've seen you every day for the past five weeks. That's hella funny. I'm like, what? And that's like one of those things where you're like, oh, yeah, he's yeah. not. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> like, things that don't like, that don't correlate. Sometimes yeah. I forget too. And like, there's some students I work with. There, there's one that I um, love to go fishing with. Yeah. And he's super freaking cool. And um, sometimes there's things that don't connect. That's what I noticed. Mm. Like, everyone seems extremely normal. Like, yeah. It's just some things just don't connect. Mm-hmm. And so it's something we just support them and like find that connection with. There's I, some that are obviously much more evident that yeah, they, they they have a disability and um like there's this this dude I almost said a bad word but I can't I can't disrespect him um yeah. he, he's really he's really funny to me because he's always mad at me yeah um, like, <laughs> and I pair well with him I have ones that are like that yeah and I think it's because I, when I first started supporting him, I push his buttons a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes. He doesn't like the radio played. He doesn't like me talking. Yeah. And so I like. Well, turn on the radio. those are all things that happen in life, and yeah. sometimes you got to get over it. Yeah. You know, sorry. <laughs> he's he's just uh, each time I pick him up, it was always an aggressive like, Carlos, take him to Target. I'm like, all right. Shit, calm Shit, down. Shit, damn, dude. <laughs> One time I texted him like, hey, are we gonna have um our you know our session today? And he's like. Shut the fuck up. I fucking hate you, you stupid bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but are we going to <laughs> yeah. do this or not? Yeah. Like, I had to tell bro. my boss, I'm like, hey, uh, I'm not offended by this in any way. And I know he just does these things. Yeah. But this is what he sent. I don't know if he's just like having a stressful day. And it turns out he 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 was having a really stressful yeah, day. That's he has what to, it is. He has to support his parents yeah. who have disabilities. Yep. And that he himself has a disability. It's super common. Yeah, you know, which is crazy. A lot of it's genetics, so and well, makes sense. I get well. I'll tell you more off the yeah. off the camera more because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, damn, dude, that really sucks. And yeah, obviously, I'd be pissed off. A lot of if it's I had to sad. Do it. A lot of it. Yeah. There's some really sad. A stuff. lot of the situations, and my wife also works in special ed mm-hmm. with el- elementary school, mm-hmm. and so her situations are very sad. Is that how you guys met? No. How'd you guys meet? We met Butte College. Hell yeah! Yeah, dude, seven years ago. Oh wow! So you guys been together for seven years. Mm-hmm. Wow. 2016, bro. Damn. Or 2017. Well, congratulations. One of those. We got I... married last year. Mm-hmm. This will be two years. I don't think I've had a relationship Wait. that long. No, this will be one year. Oh, I think well, longest like was my like only four relationship. years. Really? I mean, no. But like, like high serious? school doesn't yeah. count. Yeah, so true, true. if high school doesn't count, it's my only relationship. Oh, that's cool. Love that for you, man. It's sick. And we're going to have a baby. Congratulations. In June, in June? Which is very soon. Do you know the gender? No. No? Are you guys going to have mystery pop out? Yeah. Oh, Which yeah. Which I don't know if I would ever do again. What did you do? Um, you we, find we, out? Yeah, we got the test, and then we yeah. did the whole balloon. Oh, thing. really? Yeah, yeah well, you did like a gender reveal? Yeah, we did a gender nice. reveal. Yeah. Nice. We nice. had someone else get the balloon, I think. So what happened, like, once... Once she had, like, gave birth, like, the first time you saw your daughter... Yeah, I cried. Like, did something happen? Like, did something change in you chemically where you're like, <laughs> I need to take care of this baby um, with my life? Or like, because a lot of people are telling me that, you know, and I'm like, I, I really love the baby already. Yeah, I was definitely one of the people the moment I found out that we were going to keep child. Um, yeah. Because we, we obviously had our conversations. Like, do well, we, of course, that's yeah. always a conversation. Yeah. yeah, and it's a hard one, but we, well, fuck yeah. we had our conversation. It's the hardest and, conversation possible. But the moment it was confirmed that I'm gonna for sure be a dad, like, I already like you know fell in love with whoever yeah. they were. I was really curious who they were, and then when I found out it was a girl, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a daughter, and I like, dude, I want a girl so bad. Yeah, I'd be a really good girl dad, female dad. Lady dad. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's fun. Dad. It's I, I I was talking to someone the other day. I was like, I think I'd be pretty different if I had a son. I don't know why, but I, I think I'd have them learn responsibility a lot faster. Yeah. Like I try to do that with my daughter. I teach her money management. And like yeah. when we go to Dollar Tree, I give her like 10 bucks. It's like, okay, try to make this last. Try like spend don't it. spend all of it. And then she'll choose like five or four items, and then like, okay, I'm saving the rest for next time. Yeah. Like right now, she has all these tickets from uh, from Calskate. Yeah. And she's been saving them up so she can get the big prize each time yeah. we go. She has, each Sick. time we finish, she's like, "Do you want to spend it?" And she's like, "No, I'm good." She'll grab like one candy, and like that's it. Dope. So she's learning that money saving. That's good. Dude. That like my family didn't teach me uh, as a kid. W- w- were you poor? Yeah, I was broke. Yeah, fuck. me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're. It took forever. We're dude. fucking bad with money, bro. Dude, it That's was bad happens, with money. Dude. Yeah, we're bad with fucking money. I didn't get good with money until she was born. I'm not good with money. 
So yeah. I'm hoping that'll change. Once you, you, once you start like, my singing, wife is really good with money. I see. Don't go to work. I'm fucking yeah. trash. Yeah, I think um, because she was born, and then I became like a single father. It like clicked in my head much more that like, oh damn, like, fuck, I need to get on my shit. If yeah. if I don't save money for her, like no one else will. Yeah, because exactly. money was if, not, like my family couldn't save money for me. No, no one else is gonna do it. No. The one of the craziest like harshest things you learn in this world is like nobody will just give you money no it's it's very rare to come by for anyone just to be like hey here's five thousand dollars i hope your life gets (laughs) easier no one's gonna do that (laughs) no one which is like everyone talks about like being loving and caring but like once that money thing comes in it's usually like hey i can't help you here and it's understandable everyone's trying to survive and stuff well, like yeah, that and it's it, not like everyone has five thousand dollars available to give away exactly especially right now like, exactly yeah, everything's so crazy yeah but i think there's, there's something people. to be said about trying to climb out of your yeah economic um what is it like your economic bracket that you're oh, dude, born I've been trying into, for years it's so you know? crazy I feel like there's always something just be like, hey, Carlos, fuck you, dude. Dude, yeah. And I always feel like no matter how much money I'm making, I have the same amount of money. Yeah. Like, I'm always fucking broke. Yeah. And I don't understand why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now and now it's different. Like, before, I would get, like, a little money and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to buy a skateboard. I'm going to yeah. buy some snowboard pants or something yeah. like that. And now I'm like, dude, I got paid. I'm going to go get my haircut yeah. and groceries. And then you're like, damn, I'm still out of money. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, I just bought groceries and paid my bills and now i'm broke okay. again and like huh i can't buy that fun thing that you're i like, wanted that's crazy it, it's really weird because and then your car breaks down yeah it's always it's, like, it's always that like <laughs> honestly i think the only way out of like the current bracket is to be with another person who also is making money yeah and then you guys working together to climb out of that bracket i think that's the easiest way pooled money is probably the easiest way for um, sure luckily for, she doesn't like spend a lot of money and well, stuff she's like that. A, I, I don't want to touch it yeah i don't want access to her money at mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. because i will waste it yeah on dumb shit that's funny <laughs> like i don't know you'll buy something buy a new car i something. need i need that new hvac floating helicopter gimbal <laughs> exactly, uh, webcam dude. yeah exactly like, like i would just buy snowboards yeah and snowboard gear yeah and then i'd still probably ride my same snowboard and you just like leave it there i would just have them no you know, it's to look at yeah i'd love to get to that point i think I, i'm reserving doing that kind of stuff i would love to get there like too. those skateboards are only there because i cannot because you yeah. haven't sold them yet well <laughs> You know how badly I want to sell them, I know. but it'll be a, but a so sin cool. against myself because that's like because that's one of each one. Huh? That's one of each. That's like my skate. That's my personal yeah legacy to skateboarding. Yeah, and so you like can't get rid of those. And bro. Destiny knows I will sell it if I have to. Yeah, of course. Like my skateboards. Like she stops me from selling things that are really important to me. Good. Just because like you need somebody like that. Yeah, like I was gonna sell my favorite Pokemon card. Yeah. And she said, "Don't do it." Like. I'll, I'll do it if I really need to. Like, I've gotten to the point where um, physical items, like, I'm not really attached to them. Yeah. Which is a good and a bad thing. Yeah, I'd say it's like, probably a better thing like, than it is. A yeah, it's a better thing than a bad, bad thing. Because, thing, you know? like, if something breaks, I'm not going to cry over it. Yeah, whatever. But um, what was I going to say? Something about Pokemon money. cards. When, no, when, when Aurora was born, became a single father, the idea of saving money, and that's what kind of pushed me to get my shop, too. Yeah. And 100%. that's, I started saving money like a son of a bitch. Like, I would work, 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 work on every chance I get and pull that money. I wouldn't eat out. I'd cook my own food. Continue, I do that right now, but like, I do oh, yeah. it continuously over and over. And I would not have any form of fun. I would drink a beer every Friday. I like seeing lay off the edge. Just you like, that. like do these things that you've always wanted to do. Thanks, man. With having all the responsibilities that you do, mm. you know, like it's inspiring and also makes me excited yeah because like i think a lot of people will think about like having a kid yeah and that's like the end of of your shit and then like now it's just about this kid which i mean fair yeah you know yeah yeah, i get it but i think there's room for personal growth yeah to do your own thing no for sure like i that's something i wrestle like heavily with Aurora, like it, like not like her making me stop doing anything, but like the idea. I even think about it on my ride home yesterday. 
Yeah. I was like, how long until I'm at that threshold of I'm done trying and I'm just going to go work at a lumber mill or some shit. Dude, I, yeah. <laughs> how long, how far am I going to be stretched to when I'm like going to decide like, fuck it, labor job, save as much money I as know. possible. But I know I'll be so depressed if I did that. My problem is I can't like stay at a job. Yeah. For that long like mm-hmm. my max seems honestly be a year and really? i don't know if that's like a me issue or like uh economic money issue but mm. i always will work somewhere and yeah. they'll be like i'm getting fucked i need uh, to leave you need to leave I or think... like i just get bored uh that happens that's why i really like subbing yeah because it's okay, different it's like every different day environment. the money is not good yeah but i don't need a lot yeah you know yeah as long as one of us has a salary, the reason why I started subbing was so that we could have a baby and we wouldn't have to pay for childcare because I would just stay home. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, stay at home dad. Oh, yeah, yeah baby, that's what that's I'm that's saying. The goal, dude. That is the goal. Did but, I tell you um, when Aurora was born, I also started going to school? Yeah, dude, that's and crazy. And so I worked, went to school, and <laughs> um, her mom would have seizures from being tired. Mm-hmm. So Jeez. I would take over the night shift with the baby. Goddamn. I was a freaking zombie dude dude you're crazy yeah and i was doing so good in school and then until um her mom cheated on me and we separated yeah that's that, when i dropped out of college i was that, like ah, damn. understandable yeah i was like hey i gotta focus on my daughter. trauma will do that yeah and i was like i can't do my homework <laughs> i can't do my homework yeah this sucks <laughs> yeah that sucks yeah i'll that's try to go again shitty. someday like aurora was actually telling me like dad when are you gonna go to school i mean like Shut up. You go to school. Yeah. You stay there. It's yeah. Like, I don't like school. What about you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. You ain't going. I ain't going. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck shit. No, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to enroll whatever college she's in and just like <laughs> attend with her. Yeah, <laughs> attend yeah, with her. You What's your degree? That'd be sick. Liberal arts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Signs what up. What are you going to be? A teacher? <laughs> <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> uh. Whatever she wants to be, I'll be pretty happy. Like, I would love to go back to school for filming. Yeah. And just like media production. But like, I, I'm not going to go work for anybody. So it'd be like a waste of like time as a form of like going to find a job. But for me to internally use for things I want to do. What's the worst job your child could have? For me? Yeah. Like if she had a really bad job? Yeah. Like what would, what would, what, what career path could she take where you're just like, oh God, anything but that? <laughs> I mean,. The adult industry is definitely one of them. Um, uh, yeah, that one's a given. That, that one's a I given. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Some people might. No. Some people. Well, some parents are okay with it. I don't know if anybody would be. Genuinely like, okay? Not okay. I think there's a difference between between being like okay with something and being like stoked. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I'm, like, oh, like I'm okay with my child doing that, but yeah. I'm not stoked about it. At the end of the day, you cannot control when they're adults. Like, no, and you like, shouldn't. Yeah, one of the things that I, I learned was uh, um, your your child belongs to the earth, not to you. Yeah. And it's like, we don't, when we have our kids, I don't think we realize that. Yeah, that but they're then, their own people. That they're own people. Because yeah. you, you know you're your own person. Like, you don't go to your parents' house and be like, Dad, what do I do now? Well, yeah. you, you do ask your parents for advice and stuff, but like, you don't want to be controlled by your parents. No. And so I think when you, when you first have a kid, I feel like some people forget about that because they just want to protect their child so much, you know? Yeah. So like, it's like a, it's a really weird thing, but I, I got through that. I know that she's going to be her own human and I cannot control the decision she makes. And all I can do is love her and care for her and give her the advice that she deserves. But a job I really probably would not like her being in would be like, wouldn't want her working at an oil rig. Yeah. I mean, I'd be proud. She'd be but like, making but like, some damn money. She'd be making some money, but I know she the would danger face aspects the scary. danger aspect. She'd be facing so much harassment. Oh, I already God. know. God, yeah. Like Jesus. any job where she would face harassment. Any like male dominated career path? No, not would even. You think, or? No, not even that. Just anywhere where I know it's rough. Yeah. Like or if like she wanted secluded. to be an actress. Yeah. So what do you mean by secluded? Like if you're on an oil rig? Oh yeah, yeah, like away from any like form of safety. Not a lot yeah. of places you can go if something happens bad. Yeah, yeah like that. And I, I would... assume there's not a lot of people you can talk to. Yeah, that you that know? would really suck. Things like 
like acting dude child actor scary yeah. bro scary. especially after watching the fucking quiet on set yeah dude, dude. Woo! scary you know what's crazy is i feel like i really like idolized those kids and was always like man I, like watching drake and josh yeah. i was like dude i have a stepbrother yeah why am i not drake and josh like i want to be yeah drake and josh that's funny and then that watching that shit i was like Whoa. it's weird Thank God I wasn't drinking Josh. Yeah. You know? I, I did always like Crazy Steve, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. He well, was always he, Spencer. Wasn't he kind of like... I heard he was kind of like protecting yeah, the Yeah, that's, kids what, that's, in that's a what a lot of people have been saying, that he was actually helping which them Which is super cool. Which is nice. There's like... But at the same time... It's like, why don't you just call it all out? The, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. always the why didn't you do more yeah. thing. And I think um, in our society previously... We didn't do a lot of that. I don't think and so. And like now, I think we are kind of at a more place likely. where we feel we're able to call people out more. Oh, for sure. And I really do think it's probably like his roles weren't huge to begin with. No. And I imagine if he he spoke probably out. he if he spoke out, his career's done. Yeah, totally. Like, and I know it's not not everyone's perfect. So to try to like if someone said, "Hey, Carlos, you you are never." gonna do any of the things you want to do again for the safety of your daughter i I mean i personally would be like okay yeah i'll do that yeah of course like i fucking i don't care i don't care what my career is at that point but uh, like when you're young and you don't have any responsibilities and you're trying to achieve your goals and you're coming up in a in a very toxic and very like manipulative yeah yeah like it'd be hard to say no it'd be hard to be like it'd be hard to do it it takes someone extremely fucking brave especially when the other person has so much power now i think though that they're is it sounds super fucked up Mm -hmm. but i think there's clout to be had for whistleblowers yeah you know like people exposing other people yeah it's now more like thank you instead of like shunning and that stuff i think because it's such on a main stage like platform and like we're able to like really communicate with the world now like all the diddy stuff oh yeah i was i was listening to (laughs) somebody else dude i don't know who i don't remember who it was but they were like talking about this band who was like, oh, yeah, well, we didn't say anything because we had this big album coming up and, like, we really needed it to, like, be good. And the YouTuber or whatever was like, that's crazy because uh, I've never heard of this fucking band and I've never yeah. heard of this fucking album. That's so but funny. But you could have done something. Yeah. And it's like, thinking about that, I'm like, holy shit. Like, that's a crazy statement. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, you're not shit. Why you weren't? Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. know? Like, yeah, no, that's the weird part. I think a lot of people, like, it's the fear of, not being able to climb up after that totally oh, i yeah. also like in my head when you were saying like that more actors and stuff are open to talking about it it's weird because i think there's been a shift i might be completely wrong and just talking out of my ass i mean there's a fair high chance we're both wrong about facts. everything we say big facts fact check yeah <laughs> but like i think because journalists and like expose style people uh-huh. they've been focusing more on the bosses of film yeah and like th- they've been focusing more on directors and like the big big heads like the titans the industry. titans and yeah. they're trying to bring them down yeah. as unlike before where all the gossip and stuff was about specifically the little guy the actor yeah. the celebrity it was never about the director like like you talked about him but you never talked about like the guy who owns the fucking movie industry dude yeah, yeah. actually that's was, a really fair point i'd like, say that like makes we were attacking sense. the actors the whole time right yeah it was it's almost them. like victim blaming in a way yeah and yeah. then so it, it it leveled up to that so i think it gave a platform for the actors to be like oh god i'm not being attacked for everything i do right now because drake bell was in that documentary right oh uh, yeah dude. and everyone's like oh my god drake bell but people forget Drake Bell talks to little girls. Yes, I know. And he went to Mexico. That's to... what I was saying, too. <laughs> and everyone's and like, was but like, Drake Bell. Yeah, and they're like, oh, well, he had all these bad things happen to him. And I'm like, that does, that's not a fucking excuse. Yeah, that doesn't I've, fucking matter at I all. I know people who were hurt in that way. Yeah. And they still didn't do that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so and, like, and there's dude. like, of course, like there's a repeat pattern of behavior. Usually if you're, yeah. if you're assaulting people at a lot of the time it turns out you has assaulted. been yeah. done to you in mm-hmm. some facet or another but that does not give you a any pass. fucking <laughs> anything close to any kind of fucking past yeah. i don't give a shit yeah. it no, does not matter was, to me what you've been through that. as soon as you start doing shit like that you 
should not be around anymore. <laughs> that, that, like, that, that, that boat is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, yeah, that's I was, just I was not... so sad about that whole Drake thing, too. Like, when it, it turns it out sad. that he was talking to little girls. Yeah, it's fucking sad. Because he played, in my opinion, the best animated Spider-Man voice. Dude. Did you watch that Spider-Man yes. series? He yeah. played the best one, it was, dude. Was it Amazing Spider-Man or Spectacular Spider-Man? <sighs> I forgot which one it was. I don't know, but that is my favorite Spider-Man animated series. Yeah, and they had like Childish Gambino as, as Miles in that one, too. Holy shit, did they really? Yeah, he Damn, voiced Miles. And awesome. it was such a good cast of people for that. Well, he played... Um, Childish played the uncle. Yes, right? in the live Prowler. action. Yeah, he loved, he played the Prowler. It was like a cameo of the Prowler. Yeah, it was a cameo Prowler. Yeah. But... We all know who he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's so not like, a secret. So that was pretty freaking hype. Yeah. You a big Spider Man fan? Dude. Yeah. Love Spider Man. Yeah. Love Spider Man. What's your favorite Spider Man thing like right now? Like my favorite Spider Man thing right now, the games. The games are fucking the good. Games. I don't have a PS five though, so I can't play the new one. I haven't played I played the first one and the Miles Morales me one. Me too. Which were freaking so hype. So great. I'm just waiting for them to come to PC. I'm waiting for Spider Man two to come to PC. Oh my god, that the mod would be hilarious. Miles Morales is on there. Is it? I played on PC. It was good. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that one was fun. I have that one on disc. And I have a um, Spider Verse DVD with the little Miles action figure in there. Yeah, still sick. sealed, still sealed sick. in the box. Damn, that's son. what I'm saying. I it, love Spider Man. though. I always have. It's cool. I think Spider Man was so probably cool. my favorite. I don't even really like time. superheroes anymore. Like super. Like I'm not into Marvel. Yeah. I don't like Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. I like unless they're Spider Man. Those are the only ones I'm down with. And I like the new kid. Tom Holland. Yeah, he's like the best. Him. I think he's good. He's he's probably one of my favorite Spider-Man. He's no Tobey Maguire, but yeah. he's great. <laughs> Dude, okay. I kind of felt like Tobey could have stepped it up a bit. Okay, here's my here's my take on Tobey Maguire. Yeah? I think Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man mm-hmm. because it shows and depicts Spider-Man as a kid on the spectrum. What? Dude. If you watch uh-huh. the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans yeah. and watch his mannerisms and how he acts and the things that he says, yeah. you're like, this is yeah. an autistic kid. Spider-Man is probably autistic. <laughs> that makes sense. And it's when you watch the movie through that lens, yeah, you're it's like, oh my fucking God. awesome. That's I don't so know funny. why, because I can just see it as like one of my kids that's just like, this is him. Fucking he acts like Spider-Man. It. Yeah, like, <laughs> like and... Dude, just so many weird interactions that he does in that movie where I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like, uh, oh, man, it. I don't know. I just love it. And that makes sense. I think it's so cool. I think I can just. That's funny. I don't know if he. That's so I don't, funny. I don't know if he is on the spectrum, like Tobey Maguire. Like, I don't know if Tobey Maguire is on the spectrum or not, but like i'm just thinking of the um, one time there's a video it. of toby Maguire, like a bunch of paparazzi mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> he just goes out of his car and he's like get the fuck out of the way <laughs> don't you see where i'm at yeah. he's just oh yelling, i know that yeah. video yeah and when the ca- caption was like car yeah this is like the caption was this is my spider-man i don't care <laughs> <laughs> get your fucking seat get out of the way <laughs> that was so good that's dude. awesome oh. i showed my my kids yesterday, you know that meme where it's like, I'm going to rub dirt in your eye. Yeah. yeah. I showed him like a video. It's like a three minute video yeah. of Spider-Man scenes, but, but Spider-Man is just trying to rub dirt in people's eye. <laughs> and it was so funny. It <laughs> That's was like too good. all AI, like him, like Mary Jane be like, oh my God, Peter. And he's like, I'm going to rub some dirt in your eye. <laughs> and it's just so fucking funny. Hey, you, I see, don't know. You, you know the scene where like he's, um, he's walking outside and he gets knocked over and his books fall over yeah. on his way to class. Have you seen the version where like someone edited it to get him getting knocked over for like a straight minute and a half? <laughs> like each time he gets back up, he just gets hit back down <laughs> just over and over again. Dude, I don't know why with the Spider-Man like memes, like the Tobey Maguire Spider- Spider-Man. There's so many good they're ones. They're so funny to me. They're always so why. good. Right or now the... the the big one is like where he's going like, it's like that poster of him going like this. Yeah. And then people are like, if you if your friend does the Spider Man pose while the other friend does the um, what's his name Tiger Woods, big guy slaps mm-hmm. like that's gonna be the best high five for like you oh, ever see easy but that's yeah. awesome Spider Man memes are always relevant I love the one where it's like um when you're at the when you're at the restaurant the waiter brings you something that you didn't order and it's him going what is this <laughs> it's like some stupid <laughs> what shit is this? or I I don't know I love what the this pizza is. time memes were the fucking best no like, dude yeah. so good I think that's why Spider Man stays really popular is all the the um, meme age yeah I I firmly believe if your film can be like turn into a meme it's a gonna joke. do good yeah. yeah like that's why um uh i think well obviously barbie and oppenheimer were really good movies mm-hmm. but uh they were 
I didn't watch Oppenheimer. You didn't watch it? I haven't seen either. I just know they're good. Oh, Barbara's, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came Barbara's out around the right. same time. I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love that one. Dude. I loved, uh, um, is it Ice Cube? Ice yeah, Cube yeah. being the villain. Being Superfly. God damn, dude, he's so good. It was as fun. Superfly. It was such a good fun movie. I loved it. Are you ready for the second one? Yeah, man, I'll watch. Yeah, it. did you see? Like, did you watch the ending? Did you watch the whole thing? Like after yeah, the credits, I think they did a post credits. I like, can't. You don't remember? No. I think at the end. Uh, I guess this is a spoiler because you didn't watch that part, okay. but like, um, you see Shredder's claw. Oh, sick. And it's raining. Sick. So like, oh, he's sick. gonna be the next. Because I was like, when did Shredder come in? The whole yeah, time, I was like, Shredder? where the fuck is Shredder? But it, I hope they do something like cool and like stylistic with him as well. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fun. I'm pretty I liked, sure. I liked the new one. I liked the revamp. I liked the characters. The music was fucking yeah, banging. It yeah. was awesome. It, it was really good, dude. And I, I love. Um, was it Jackie Chan who played um, uh. Who played? Why am I drawing a blank? Damn, I'm not I a real know. fan. Master Splinter, <laughs> fake fan. Yeah, fake. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know Jackie Chan. Jackie played Chan Splinter. played Master Splinter. No way. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, check the cast. There's shoot. Um, yeah. What an all star cast, bro. Dude, Jesus. the only ones who weren't like popular were the Ninja Turtles. Like, yeah, that's they, fine. They were just random and they were kids. kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really freaking cool. I liked that aspect as well all the all the bad teenage, guys bro. were famous people they're teenage yeah they're teenage, teenage mutant ninja what i'm turtles. thinking is gonna happen in the second one is like they grow up just a little more yeah and so they're 17, gonna be like yeah they're gonna be going through the growth 16, spurts and their voice 17. is gonna crack even That'd more be funny. i, I think like it, i think it'll be pretty sick i think that's when like um raf was gonna like he'll probably bulk up bulk a little up. more yeah. yeah i i think it'll, it's gonna be really fun well, that age is so weird just like working at a middle school mm-hmm. and like seeing kids that age i'm just like oh my god i was that old one time dude this i was one, that young that sucks yeah <laughs> like <laughs> i'm just looking at him and i'm like you're really going through it right now i can <laughs> no. tell like I, I that know. just looks really <laughs> difficult life is nerve-wracking and like all the girls uh get taller before the boys do oh that's all the kids and, and so, right now the short king and, thing is a thing bro. and they'll date <sighs> and they'll date too and yeah. so you'll just see like this girl who's like normal height. yeah and then she'll be dating this kid who's like five four. That's so funny. And you're like, what is this? Yeah, that's like, so this is funny. So weird and gross. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with any of these kids? That's hella fucking funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. everyone's like lanky and they're like weirdly shaped, right? Because everyone's all, going through their body. Yeah, they're spurts. all so weird looking, dude. Like, I don't know, morphing, they're strange. And then the face. Uh, they all talk in like memes. Yeah. Like. They almost like don't say words really anymore. It's nuts. That's fucking funny. They'll just be like W Riz, Aiden Ross, Gibbity Toilet. Like, bah, 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 yeah, bah, no, bah. like actually, it's so <laughs> funny. I'm like, what is speed? Hap-? Yeah, I they'll, have speed. They'll hit the gritty like just going to class like normally. Like, this guy watches neon. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's so weird. They're all really into um. That's so that funny. one kid right now. Which one? Ryan's world sketch. Sketch. sketch, yeah, Sketch is super popular they right now. I really like Sketch, which I'm hyped about because, you know. He's a good guy? I have I, no clue. I don't know. I don't know if he's a good guy, but. I'm just whatever. Yeah, oh, he's cool. Yeah, he's I chilling. Like he's big chilling. I know. Um, he seems kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're funny. I mean, we had really bad people. Aiden Ross, is, I think, is bad. He's a bad guy? I don't know. He just likes. No, he just hangs out with rappers all the time. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I heard the worst he got one. scammed by 21 Savage. He did. He did. That it was, was funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Each time I see like someone re- extremely popular, like yeah, and that happens, I'm like, dude, like, what do you think was? I can't happen? shit. Wait, who's the bad guy? Who's the guy? Neon. I don't sucks. know. Neon. Logan Paul was a really was really well, hated Logan for a Paul, while. but he yeah, he's, he's not a streamer shit. anymore. He he, shit. Who's the kid? Who's the guy? Mm-hmm. Who was like really sexist, really kind of like bad, and Andrew Tate? he no. But like him, yeah, like him, yeah. And he streams on Kick. And he just got the shit kicked out of him. Who is from it? that one UFC fighter who's a little crazy who like, oh, yeah, really yeah, yeah. hates streamers? Yeah, I don't know who it was. Um, I know what you're talking about. I saw that. Well, bro, I didn't watch it. What but the I, hell is his name? That's crazy. It's not Neon. No, it's no. not Neon. I hate Neon. It's close to Neon. Though. I hate him so much. I don't. That's. He's kind of lanky, weird looking. Yeah, yeah. Says inappropriate shit all the time. Yeah, and just like like is just disrespectful. In extremely general. disrespectful, yeah. and he like tries to one up some of the scariest looking dudes. 
And the moment That's they're like stupid. And the moment they're ready to press him, he's like, ah. It's not I should be, it's not Aiden Ross, it's not Kaisenat. I actually like Kaisenat. Kaisenat's pretty funny. I think he's cool. I don't watch him, but I saw him with When um, he pops up on my TikToks. Mark Ruber, the engineer guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, He's been getting a lot of famous funny. people. Yeah. I was like, This is this is a little funny. <sighs> I'm trying to think of who it might have been. Maybe I don't it was know. Speed. Actually, I think now that I think of it, it wasn't Kaisenat. It was Speed. It was, it's really interesting how their names are. Like, we had like really weird sounding names for people who were popular during our generation. PewDiePie. PewDiePie, I Dubs, Filthy Frank, Tabuscus. Tabuscus. Yeah, they. Yeah, me. What Mash. happened to that guy? Didn't some weird happen? Um, I know a lot of the YouTubers got caught being creepy. Diddies. Yeah. Diddies. Yeah, they were diddlers. Damn, dude, yeah. that's dude. Gross. There's this um. I don't know how much how far you're into like the internet right now, but like there's this guy called Yandere Dev. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, I don't know. Yeah, he made this. Like, do you know what a Yandere is? Mm-mm. It's like um, it's like this weird schoolgirl fantasy type shit. I don't really know okay. what it is either. But he was developing a game called Yandere Simulator, and you like kill schoolgirls as a schoolgirl. Whoa! Yeah, it's a school Crazy. shooter game essentially. Okay, bad. He got a lot of flack on the internet, and then as you should. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's weird. And then it turns out that he was talking to little girls, of course, allegedly, and. That just always seems and to happen. Apparently, the guy lives here in Chico. <laughs> no way. Yeah. What? Yeah. Scary. Yeah, I don't scary, know where, scary. but he lives here in Chico. Scary, and, scary. Yeah. Well, you ever look at, like, Megan's list? Who's Megan? Like, like Megan's Law, like, the thing that makes you have to um, say that you're a pedophile, if you're a pedophile. Oh. You can go online and look and see every pedophile that lives in Chico. He's not registered. Oh, really? He's like, he, these are all accusations. None of them have been confirmed. Okay. And, but there's been like screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, but like, you're like, when you're making video uh, games about licking at girls' underwear, checks yeah. out. Yeah. Weirdo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Already, and, you're weird. Exactly. So, Second of all, now I got a little proof. Yeah. So, you know what? So, it sucks to suck, dude. You're probably a fucking creep. But yeah, that guy lives in Chico. People like uh, Critical. Have made videos on him. I like Critical. Moist really? Critical. I'll have to check him out. Yeah, he's Moist Critical's fucking great, dude. I've I've watched him. I since love that like, guy. He's cool. I think I started with like the QWOP video when I was a yeah. kid. Q-wop. I don't. I like him. A he's lot. funny. He's really I, cool. He was like the only person I watched for like four years. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he does. He does good stuff. Now have I'm you... in this horrible like political sphere that I hate, <laughs> and I don't know why I'm always in there. I did. It just snatches you up. But it makes me so fucking toxic it's just awful yeah. like i can't even go on the internet and like read comments yeah it's just you, so you get angry. mad at them yeah where have I'm you like, seen Why um, are people so stupid have you seen what's his face uh destiny yeah yeah do you watch his stuff no i watched the one he did with the jordan peterson yeah just because I, I i like watching people debate Talk. Yeah, yeah yeah i i don't i don't engage at see all. and not like me my toxic self i think destiny was dick riding him so yeah. heavily really yeah i don't think he was harsh enough really yeah because i hate jordan peterson yeah you hate jordan peterson but that's like just me because i just don't like him i think he's a he's a doo-doo head yeah i think he's a doo-doo head yeah for sure yeah um i do like his voice he, he... i like how he talks like that <laughs> and stuff <laughs> it's fucking funny <laughs> i like that aspect yeah. i i know i enjoy listening to anyone's point of view even if it's wrong yeah no me too like i agree um i've listened to some pretty dumb things that doesn't mean it doesn't infuriate me to a point where i'm like shaking yeah i get really upset i really also like it really like triggered like like classically triggered i get really (laughs) mad screen turns red yeah why are you so stupid or like i'll watch cop videos where like cops are being bad Uh, dude and then i'll just like my whole day will be ruined I saw this one where, <laughs> where I, I like hate the police. Now. Yeah, th- those get me really <laughs> sad, bro. Like, dude, this yeah, one I saw. it's fucking awful. Oh, I hate it so much. This guy um, was, they were checking through his person or whatever, and he had this little necklace with the little thing, and he's like, please don't open that. That's my daughter's ashes. Please don't open that. Please oh, don't my open God. That. And the oh. cop spills in laughs. Oh, see, dude, stuff like that makes break... me like sick. Yeah, to I want to. I want to break my phone in half after I saw yeah. that, dude. I'm just like <laughs> stuff like that, or like watching people get tased for no reason. Yeah, or, like stuff like that, and like p- cops like laughing. Like I know there's good cops, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, I get it. There's good and bad cops. But, like there's good and bad people in anything. But when those things happen, bro, it's just like uh... there is something to be said mm-hmm. with that job. Where there's a power dynamic, and if you're searching for that dynamic, 
You shouldn't be in that job. You might be yeah. a little fucked up. Yeah. You know? I like, mean, that's what usually happens. People who are power hungry go for, like, power and jobs. I also understand that there's a lot of fear involved. I could never be a police officer mm-hmm. morally. I want also, to be I'm too weak yeah. emotionally. Oh. Like, in the sense of, like, if someone was committing crime and if they had a really good reason. You think I'd, you'd be like, I'd you'd be fold? Like, You'll go. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. I do that right now yeah. at a fucking classroom. Yeah. Like you know, where, sorry. like, kids will, like, be on their phone, and I'll be like, put that away. And they're like, no. I'm like, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they're like, like I'm, te- I'm texting my mom. And <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I guess text her. Yeah. Is she at work? Yeah. And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay, then that's fine, I yeah. guess. <laughs> like, what are you saying to her? And they're like, like that's none of your business. And I'm like, ah, fuck, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It is none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Damn it. I'm like really like uh, into them being their own people yeah. to where it's like, like good detrimental job. to my work. <laughs> yeah, you know, like or you I'm stuck like, up to the man. Good yeah, job. like you passed. Job. You passed. That's pretty funny. It's horrible. That's... Like I don't let them like walk all over me or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting better, but it's mm-hmm. definitely something like I work. Well, I was a para first. Yeah. A paraprofessional, mm-hmm. which means you're just like an aide. Yeah. So my whole job was like getting the kids that trust me and like me, and then so I could help them with their damn homework. But now, as a teacher, mm-hmm. I have to understand that that's not part of it. Like the kids don't have to like me. Yeah. And that, for me, being somebody who likes it when people like them, it's hurt. hard. Yeah, I imagine but that's tough. Dude. I hate middle schoolers. So <laughs> it works out. It works out it better because I don't care I don't like about you. their opinion. You don't at like all. me. We're just here to do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. They'll be like, I hate you. And I'm like, that, I don't care. Excellent. The good. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Do your work. You know, eighth grade likes me. And that's yeah. all that counts. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. All the sixth graders hate me. That's so funny. Like, the seventh graders are like, that guy's cool. I think also what's really funny is they're not used to having a teacher that understands what they're saying. Yeah. And so they'll like say something they'll be like, "Oh yeah, dude, she got the gat." Yeah. It's like, I'm "Dude, like, what the fuck?" I'm like, for? "Don't say that. It's gross." Yeah. And they're like, "You know what that is?" I'm like, like, "Yeah, I know everything. <laughs> I'm on the fucking internet, bro. <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, I've been in Call of Duty lobbies. I've heard everything you're saying. <laughs> like, I know like, what you stop. say when you go home. <laughs> yeah, you little shit. <laughs> That's so funny. And dude, like, just calling out little kids would be so hilarious. It's that that part is fun. <laughs> that part is fun. Yeah." And, like, um, I don't have to deal with parents at all that's that nice. often. So, like, for me, that's really good because I don't want to yeah. talk to Oh, dude. Oh, fuck. At all. I would try to be as chill as possible. But, like, the moment I feel like my kids, like, there's an issue at school with my kid, I can't. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on Well, here? like, yeah, you, you should feel like that. Like, because they don't know what's going on. Yeah. They don't Either. see what your kid's going through every day. No. And they also, like, like teachers don't. They don't know what's fucking happening. They're just trying to teach. Really? One day, one day at like a time, bro. One day at a time, dude. Like, what do you, in what sense? What do you mean? Like, let's say a kid's getting kind of bullied and you didn't notice. Like, does that happen? Like, I mean, I don't know. I I guess, probably. I'm yeah. guessing. It's probably. They I'm hide guessing it. probably. It's probably it easier now with phones. And I don't huh? know. Yeah. But, like, for the most part, I can tell if someone's having a bad day. I know which kids' parents are gang members. I know which kids like grew up in a like situation that are worse mm-hmm. and i know the kids that are affluent mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. like i can see it in behavior mm-hmm. usually or like um i think one of the biggest things with working with special ed or just like a demographic that's like economically um lower or yep. like struggling more burden is yeah you have to be cautious of like what you say mm-hmm. in the sense of like oh yeah well just go home and tell your mom yeah like because you, you, like, you can't say that yeah you can't it's like they're gonna get beat Cause, well because well not even like that they're just like they're like oh well my mom's dead so <laughs> my dad killed my mom so fuck like shit like that yeah when they like, just let out that straight, that harsh info you're like yeah ah. like i had a kid come up my first day of subbing my first day as a sub ever mm-hmm. and this little kid came up to me and he's like seven mm-hmm. and he goes oh guess what happened to me on new year's and i was like oh what and he goes my daddy hit my mommy in the face and then went to jail oh my god and i was like oh that's fucking that's sad. heavy and i was like oh well do you think that was a good idea what your dad did and he's like no i was like good good the- i don't know how to respond to that yeah sorry buddy oh my god. <laughs> like stuff like that is just that's you know, 
That's crazy. So far, I haven't had like anything too crazy. That's nice. Been revealed to me, because um, I think a lot of the people I work with are they're in good homes. That's there good. are some people who aren't in too great situations, but I don't work with them, and so I don't know too much. I feel like it's also different with adults. Like an adult in a bad situation, you're like, that's tough, bro. Yeah. Like a kid, you're like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Can I take you home? Like, what do you need? What do you like, need? Like, can I buy you shit? Like, yeah. Stuff like that. So that's really hard. Yeah. No, it, it is. Compl- it's way different because yeah. a lot of these, uh, the people who are in the program, they usually get their social security and stuff like that. So they're yeah. good financially. They're stable. They're yeah. stable. Like yeah. the worst case scenario is that they're being lied to with how much money they're supposed to get by their parents or yeah. caregivers. But, but that's like worst case scenario. And hopefully like all of my kids eventually get there yeah. to that point where they are yeah. feeling stable. And so far, everyone who's been in our program, their families have been well off. Hmm. Like, I wonder if that's correlating to their in success. Any way. They definitely have a support net. Like yeah. they have much better support circles. Of course. There, there's um And that's always extremely helpful. Yeah, and if I no think one's that's, in your corner, you're just going to do bad. I think that's why the only reason they're in the program is cuz they like if they already have a support circle yeah. that's looking for them to get more support. So like cuz it's not like we do outreach and go to like disbarred communities oh. or anything like that. We are recommended through another like far northern regional center. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah so we are um referred. We're a referred program. So obviously if your parents don't give a shit about you and your autism, you're not going to get the best resources. No. It's a, literally a lot of parent working to find their kids' resources, and then eventually they end up in a program like ours, that which kind of sucks. It does, because Because it just means the people who have the most support get the most support. Yeah, yeah. So get like, the most resources. Get the I most resources. Say. And it's not yeah. like they're doing it. On, it's not like these people with autism are like, ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling in the dough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it just happened to be their circumstance. And um, that's like why one of my goals when i had the shop was to try to save money through the shop yeah. to open up an indoor skate park which also acted as a drop-in center for at-risk youth yeah that'd be sick like i have a bunch of skater kids in my class that, oh it's like ah, no it's... and i talked to him about skateboarding too yeah and then uh, they like, you what can... you know about skateboarding yeah, yeah. mr vincent can like, you kick watch, flip? watch this bro watch <laughs> this. i can't i can very flip yeah there you That's go it. I'll, I'll tell you what. Can't fucking kick flip. Don't know why. <laughs> Brain stupid. Body don't work. I don't know. That's how I'll figure it out. Varial flip. I'll do that. Dude, yeah, varials are I can probably favorite. land that right now. I, uh, I haven't done a kick flip in Not a kick four, flip. four I or five months. Yeah, I haven't done Damn. a kick flip in like 13 years. <laughs> You're like, I'm done. I'm over nah, it. Dude, I, I can't tray do flip. them. Last time I did a tray flip, I rolled my ankle and I was like, I'm not doing these I anymore. landed one tray flip on the carpet of dark side. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, uh, dude, how sad was it when it closed down? Not, not too not sad at all. Yeah. Not sad even a little. Yeah, I was sad for my boy Pierce who had to find a new job. Yeah, he looked pretty bummed out. He, uh, no, not gonna lie, went in there and bought everything that I could that was half nice. off. I was he, like, I'm getting all these independents because yeah. like, they like I have, I had no company that sell them to me at the time, so like this is the only place I can get wholesale independent trucks. Nice. I wasn't working there yeah. when they closed. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I was already at um, the ski resort. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't really like matter to me too mm-hmm. much, and that place was not making money, bro. They weren't. Uh. Uh-uh. Do you Dude, think it I was... was sitting in there all day doing nothing? They wouldn't even sell like smoking supplies. Sometimes, yeah, but like not enough to keep the lights on. Well, there's no way they're selling enough t- for that place to be profitable. That's so weird. Do you think yeah. a smoke shop would do better in Chico? You would think, but there's a lot of them, and a lot of them that were cheaper than us. Oh, uh, was that it? Do you think he made most of his sales from like the other stores? I don't know. Like I really don't. I think Redding was probably his like. Well, yeah, no, he one. he makes a lot of money in Redding, yeah, and he makes a lot of money in Red Bluff, mm-hmm. and he wasn't making a lot of money in Chico, mm. so he didn't put a lot of money into Chico, and uh, I think that was yeah. part of the. That issue. makes sense in Redding. I think the market's like a little better for people over there, well, especially for smoking, and yeah, stuff like that, and like. Yeah. And Red Bluff only had like two legitimate smoke shops, so yeah, there wasn't too much competition. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and. Like now they're on Main Street. Well, they were always on Main Street. They're like in the beginning of Red Bluff now. Oh, cool. Yeah, next to, rest in peace. Next to the Wendy's that burned down. Oh yeah, yeah. Wendy's, dude. So sad. I Damn. used to get nuggets there all the time, and then go across the railroad to get to the skate park. I've never had a Wendy's nugget. That skate park's scary. Why? There's a fucking bird on that. It's intense. Yeah, it's fun. I just remember it being it's like fun. It's real steep. tall. It, it goes, and steep. goes up, goes straight up. Yeah, shouts out uh, Red Bluff Diamond Park. Yeah, our, that our, place our, looks like a prison. I <laughs> It's all graffitied up, and like the the fences are torn down. And whatnot. you know, Red Bluff has the highest sexual assault rate in California. Yeah, I, you know, I was just talking. I was, you know, this conversation comes up a lot. That it's a huge sexual assault rate, like like rate, and they have some of the highest amounts of pedophile registered sex offenders per capita. I could see it. Yeah, I, I'd assume those would correlate. Yeah, it's because a lot of people retire 
mm. in, in Rebel. If a lot of old people retire. And mm. so a lot of those old people who've done time, they go to a place that's quiet and... I was thinking, because uh, there's a lot of drugs. There is a lot of drugs, yes, yes. And yes. it's on the 5. It's on the i5. And you know, you know the problem with the i5. Yeah. Yep, those the hell's lot angels, lizards. bro. Oh, the yeah. hell's they angels, a of, dude. A lot of meth, bro. Well, yeah, they, they used to fucking run meth like all over the i5. That's why like all those spots are so... Yep, all the little towns, Orland, Corning, oh, they're, they're, all, they're all little meth they're towns. They're all a little trashy, a yeah. little bit, a little it bit. It is what it is, bro. Hey, man. Those places got good skate parks. They got. Good, I don't know that's what. what I'm saying. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. It's the I meth. I don't know why <laughs> the meth makes them build really good yeah. skate parks. Yeah. No, that's interesting to think about. I was I was thinking about the drug usage for stuff because I the, the meme that always comes up is like country people just do meth and yeah people who live in small towns now meth is like a soft drug. It's a soft drug. Yeah. yeah it's done compared everywhere. to fentanyl and yeah. shit. I love oh, me some my fentanyl. God, mm-hmm. that stuff's crazy. Yeah. Did you watch you watch Channel Five at all? With uh, what's Andrew his name? Callahan? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He did that Vegas one about oh, the Vegas dude, that one's tunnels. so good. He, he had to take it off. They, he got sued for it. What? Yeah. Why? Because he used one clip from like Fox Five News, and they were like, "Get this fucking off." He thinks that there's like a grander scheme yeah. of like people not wanting. Which I would be like, I would totally <laughs> could see, bro. <laughs> like, see, the, um, did you the hear league it? of homeless like people, or like the people who want the homeless people to stay under, under the bridge? Yeah, like, they're like, 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 don't talk stay about stay under there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but I mean, like, there is a thing with California where we just want like homeless people dead. Like, oh it, for sure, it just seems like that. Yeah, like, I'm. Pr- it's it's very strange, like. California, a lot of Californians that I meet, like at least here, mm-hmm. we're kind of more red than other places. Yeah, but, NorCal's very red. Um, they're they hate, always, they hate which, homeless. Yeah, but they also like hate resources for the homeless. Yeah, I think it's the idea. It's like it's a lot of confusing to me. It's this is what I imagine it would be is they assume the resources given to support the homeless not only are a waste, but are unfair compared to like the resources that they want for other people yeah but but they also don't want those resources yeah they don't want those like. resources either it, it's really weird they it's very strange to me i wish someone could explain it in a way that would i think they just don't want their money to go to that specific cause either because they are affected by that in some specific way like maybe their ha- family member yeah. was homeless and they hated that situation or don't worry none of their money is going to any of that. it doesn't go to any, <laughs> that's the, once the crazy thing too because there is that belief that um a lot of the homeless uh support institutions aren't really helping the homeless people no. so like why and, would you want more of your money sent that way anyways i could see i could see where that would where it's like i don't want my money going there because i don't think it's gonna work gonna, i don't think it's they're doing it appropriately yeah where like in my mind I don't want there to be like a restriction on like you can't have an animal yeah in the shelter cuz I know yeah. there's some shelters here that like you can't bring your dog yeah and a lot for a that lot of these sense. people like, like that, that's a companion dude so, for a lot of them that's the only family they got dude yeah. is that fucking dog yeah. I'm mean, it's sad when we see him on the street but like that's their friend have you seen the video like the peta group taking the dog from the homeless person no. and they're like please don't take my dog they're bad, pe- they're bad, bad people. people they're bad <laughs> people they're bad people they're not dude. good people they're just like bro. tearing this dog away from this homeless guy and like yeah, this homeless guy looks dude. so sad they're not good and they're people, like you can't bro. take care of this animal which is like an argument for some people but again like that's her but it's like companion. do we take away like basic human rights rights from <laughs> people because they live on the street a lot of us are two paychecks away from fucking being oh there. yeah dude you know yeah, it could happen right now for like, me like can you afford a house no i fucking Fuck, can't no i cannot no the only um, reason i am living in a house is because i'm extremely lucky yeah yeah like that's the only reason mm-hmm. and if i well, had even to if do you it, do have a house i could still go south like dude uh, yeah, the housing people, market crash like it happens yeah, it happens people get rich bro. and then one thing happens and then suddenly they're broke again yeah so yeah. i think everybody's like really close to being homeless oh yeah Probably and i think being. as soon as you're there you understand yeah the issues yeah. and like if you have no money and nothing stopping you and nothing to work towards and you feel like everything's against you why wouldn't you do drugs yeah you know yeah like I could see why you would do that. I understand when it's like you're in survival mode. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know anything else. You just know surviving. And it's not like anyone's trying to help you get out of that survival mode. Yeah. Like the other day I saw this homeless man in our dumpster area. Mm-hmm. We've been getting more and more homeless traction. Um, I'm not bothered by it, but when I get my things stolen, 
Well, yeah, man. I am like I don't me, like thievery. I don't like thievery either. Yeah. Like so, like obviously, I've met homeless people who don't steal. Like, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, there's like I have a code, but there's always outliers, yeah. bro. There's, yeah, there's always. There's gotta be, out- it's not like the entire homeless population has a meeting every year. Yeah, <laughs> they all get together and they're like, all right, guys. Yeah. This time, no stealing. No stealing and no fentanyl. Uh, yeah, and it's like if you're viciously down bad, you yeah, resort. You're gonna steal. You resort to crime. Yeah. like that's just what happens. we can see that with like any anybody, any social group. Yeah, the poor ones will commit crime. Yeah, because that's and the rich what, ones and the rich ones, but different kind of crime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Usually, they steal behind a computer. Yeah. <laughs> Stocks. They'll steal your credit card. Yeah, yeah. Just, well, like, yeah. well, stocks and like yeah, pump dude. and dumps and stuff like that. Oh yeah, they'll, bro. They'll know Voting how to, or yeah. uh, betting on the loss of a company, yeah. Yeah. betting on a company doing shitty, yeah. is insane to me. I and don't that's, understand. That's, that's like, not taking out shorts and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's that's crazy to me. <laughs> like, like literally preying on people's downfall. <laughs> like that's nuts. I think there's like plenty of issues. In that sense that, like, I think there should be more social services for people. Oh, for sure. And there's also going to be, like, I, like, I'm not saying that every homeless person is a good person. Of course not. Yeah, that's not true. Like, that's... But there should be resources for the ones that are trying to get out of the yeah. situation, you know? Yeah. And there's going to be people who don't want to get out of the situation. Of course. Of course. Yeah. But you can't, in my mind, at least, you can't restrict access from the people who want it. Just because some people are going to be shitty with it. Yeah. Like EBT. Yeah. Like, I don't think you should get rid of EBT because some people Sir, don't I need more. fucking Give me that EBT, it. baby. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> I, like, I don't think you should limit it because some people use it to mm-hmm. buy shitty things. And then I've also heard, like, arguments like, oh, they're fucking buying steak on with yes. EBT. And it's like, um, yes. Yeah, I have yeah, a right to eat. What, we have a right to eat wait, steak. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. What what should they be buying then? Yeah. What the fuck? You're going to limit like... Rice and beans. Yeah, <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, oh, they should be eating hot Cheetos. Like, it's what like, the yeah. fuck? Like, no, it's really weird. I Poor people can't eat steak? Come on, bro. They can... It's... It's a weird... Because you, you have to give people freedom of choice, you know? Yeah. You don't want to like limit the things they do. No. And then... But I guess just education is the biggest piece. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Educating them on like, like you can buy hot Cheetos, but you kind of want to buy some. Yeah. If you buy vegetables, I promise you, you'll feel better. Like maybe do some cooking classes. Yeah. Like how to shop classes. Yeah. I th- like that's one of the things we do. We teach them how to grocery shop, Sick. teach them healthy food. Things. Dude, I wish that was like a class for everybody. For everyone, right? Because um, damn, I didn't know how to shop. I think that's probably one of the... Uh, I was thinking of things to provide for homeless people that like shouldn't be too argumentative. Yeah. Um, public showers. Yeah. A public shower place would be so fucking sick. Dude, they have them all over Oregon. Dude, they're, they're really? fucking sick. Yeah, like that would be a cool thing to have. Dude, they're there. also awesome if you're damn traveling, bro. Yeah. Because like I'll go on like long car rides, mm-hmm. like seven, eight hours, like mm-hmm. to go snowboard or something, which, like, I snowboard extremely cheap. Yeah. So. Hey, I've never so been. That. I don't know how much it costs. I've never been. <laughs> I've never been. Um, but there's ways of doing it so cheap. Yeah, you just got to know people. Here's a a, a sneaky fact. Uh huh. If you go to any ski resort and you bring a 24 pack of beer, yeah, to the patrol. Oh yeah. Like the first aid room, and give them to them. They'll give you a free pass. Oh hell yeah! Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm dude, it's sick. Get it's that free sick. beer pass. Um. But, like, they'll have showers in Oregon and stuff, and you could just go and pay, like, a dollar and shower. And that's nice. They got soap. That's totally stuff. cool. Yeah, that's definitely something I'd put. Um, cleaner public restrooms, obviously. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, like. Ours are bad, bro. They're really bad over here, huh? But Ours are gross. Yeah. All the time. Not good at all, man. But, yeah, Well, dude, I'll probably have to get out. You got to leave? Yeah. All right, bro. How's it going? This is a good place to dinner. End. Yeah, go have some dinner, dude. Yeah, dude. I love seeing you every single time. I've seen you too, bro. Brother, what you, what you got going on? Like, is there anything um, you're working towards? Currently, just waiting for the baby, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. Just waiting dad. for the baby. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Trying to trying to snowboard a couple more times before the season ends. Yeah. Boreal closes on Tuesday. Hell yeah. Like next Tuesday, and it's gonna snow this went this weekend. Mm-hmm. So I'm like really mad about that because I wanted like a nice like spring park day. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get that. It's okay. I'm sorry, brother. So I'll try to go a couple times. I bought a pass 
that I haven't really used that much. Fuck yeah. So I kind of if I can go, I will it. try to go with you at some point. Yeah, dude. Next Maybe year, far. um, I, we can go places for free. Oh hell yeah, for let's sure. Do it. Yes. And I can hook you up with gear and yes. stuff. Yes, I'd love to go snowboarding. Yeah, I've dude. always seen it. And let's I do try it. it. It'll oh, be yeah, fun. Brother. Thank you again, bro. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me come over. Gary so I, I don't know how long we did this for. But I don't it's know probably a while. Yeah, uh, I'll put your at in the. Yeah, dude. The let's thing. do it. I think um, the camera died, let's so do it again. we'll That's see okay. how much it saved. Sick. I try every single time. Something fucking happens. Hey man. That's why I hope that other camera is gonna do a lot better with battery life. Sick. Because they're built to last long. I'm like fucking GoPro. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for listening. Thanks, Peace. guys. Peace. Later.